and welcome to video one for this unit on rigid transformations and congruence. In this video, we're going to focus on rigid transformations. Here are the moves we've learned about so far. Translation. A translation slides a figure without turning it. Translations have a distance and a direction. Every point in a figure goes the same distance in the given direction. Here, figure A was translated down and to the left, as shown by the arrows. Figure B is a translation of figure A. Rotation A rotation moves a point on a figure around a center by a given angle in a specific direction. The rotation can be clockwise, going around the same direction as the hands of a clock, or counterclockwise, going in the other direction. Here, figure A was rotated about its bottom vertex by 45 degrees clockwise. Figure C is a rotation of figure A. Reflection A reflection places points on the opposite side of a reflection line. Every point of the figure is reflected to a point directly opposite to it on the other side of the line, and the same distance from the line. The reflection line shows where the mirror should stand. Here, figure A is reflected across the dotted line. Figure D is a reflection of figure A. We use the word image to describe the new figure created by moving the original figure. Here, figure A is the original while figure D is the image. If one point on the original figure moves to another point on the new figure, we call them corresponding points. Figures A and D have many pairs of corresponding points. Here are three of them. These moves are called transformations. A translation moves every point in a figure a given distance in a given direction. A rotation moves every point on a figure around a center by a given angle in a specific direction. A reflection across a line moves every point on a figure to a point directly on the opposite side of the line. When a figure is on a grid, we can use the grid to describe a transformation. Here we can use the grid to say quadrilateral A, B, C, D was translated four units to the right and one unit down. To tell apart the original figure from its image, Points in the image are sometimes labeled with the same letter as the original figure, but with a prime symbol attached, as in A prime, quadrilateral A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime is the image of quadrilateral A, B, C, D after the transformation. We can also describe a translation with just two points. If a translation moves point A to point A prime, it moves the entire figure, quadrilateral A, B, C, D, the same distance and direction as the distance and direction from A to A prime. The distance and direction of a translation can be shown by an arrow. If we are working with figures on a coordinate plane, we can use coordinates to describe points on the figures and find patterns in the coordinates of the transformed points. Here is the segment AB. Point A is at the coordinate negative 4, comma, 1, and point B is at the coordinate 2, comma, 3. If we translate point A to point A prime, we are translating negative 4, comma, 1, 2, 1, comma, negative 1, and the segment AB is translated right 5 and down 2.
On a coordinate plane, reflecting a point across an axis changes the sign of one coordinate. For example, reflecting the point A, whose coordinates are 3, negative 2, across the horizontal axis changes the sign of the y coordinate, making its image the point A prime, whose coordinates are 3, 2. Reflecting the point A across the vertical axis changes the sign of the x coordinate, making the image the point A double prime, whose coordinates are negative 3, comma, negative 2. Notice how we used A prime for one transformation of A and A double prime for a different transformation of A. When we do one or more moves in a row, we often call that a sequence of transformations. For example, we can rotate a figure by 90 degrees and then translate the figure up and to the left. One thing to keep in mind about the sequence of transformations is that the order of the transformations can be important. Here is triangle ABC, translated up two units and then reflected over the x-axis. And here is triangle ABC, reflected over the x-axis and then translated up by two units. Triangle ABC ends up in different places when the transformations are applied in the opposite order. Thank you for watching video 1 of 4 for this unit on rigid transformations and congruence.